Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I'm Brian. Um, I am showing you a video today of a sandwich pour that I um, did a few weeks ago. Remember I was telling you guys about my friend, I'm gonna make a large triptych for her. And so the piece that I'm doing today, I am going to be doing a sandwich pour and creating it with a little more pinks because we're still looking for that balance between the darker blue, the pink, the gold. So hopefully this one will uh, um, come out to the point where I think she's gonna like this. So we'll see. So let's get down on the canvas and we'll get started. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back again. I am doing another marble pour. Um, I still haven't shown my friend the two I did previously because I'm trying a third one and I'm gonna layer even differently because I want something that's gonna have a lot of pink in it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to layer much, much differently. Okay, so in my previous pour, I did white and I did the blue, the gold and pink. And then I did a layer of um, pink and then did the colors and then white. Now this time I'm gonna sandwich the colors in pink. I want the piece to have a more pink vibe. So let's pour some of the Persian rose here in the bottom. And this time I am going to drizzle some blue. Some gold. And I got a new color I'm using. I'm using Permanent Red Violet Light from Amsterdam. So I'm gonna sandwich them in two middle layer or two outside layers of pink. Now I'm going to throw in white. There we go. And I'm gonna put blue. Go a little bit more. This beautiful permanent red violet light. We're only going to need 11 ounces of paint, so um, I think this time I'm going to put gold. Pretty magenta. I'm just doodling. I'm going to flood the canvas with the white again. Thank you. 
So this is gonna have a whole lot more pink in it this time. Just dump it right here in the middle. One, two, three. Give this a little pop. Let it ooze out. All right, just gonna lift it up. And then we'll lip. All right, let's start tilting. Let's see what we come up with. Things are getting a little too distorted up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
looks a little chaotic. It's cool looking, that's for sure. All right guys, this is just a little too much pink, I think. So I am going to do another pour and I'm not going to layer, I'm gonna do one layer of pink. So we're gonna go in the blue, gold, red, violet light. And here is where I'm going to put a nice healthy layer of the pink. One, two, three. A little snap. Let that release. All right, we're gonna lift it up.
Still not a fan of this one either. So this one's interesting because there's still a lot of pink. Got the white, got the gold, got the blue. All right, so now I can show her ones that's got more white, one that has more pink. This is much better. All right, I'm gonna clean up my edges, torch, and bring you guys in. All right, much better. Um, now that I moved that center line, made it a little off center there. this dry I'll be right back all right here's the dried result so I have shown this to my friend and this is the number one pick to date she loves the pink she loves the blue she loves the gold and so she wants a triptych and it's going to be on three 24 by 36 inch canvases so now that we've got the color combination i'm going to do another one on the same size a little 16 by 20 and i'm going to play with the colors again see if i can duplicate the same kind of result and um if she likes that one then we will move into starting on the bigger canvases but let me bring you in here All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. This is the piece again, turned out great. She absolutely loves this. It's got enough blue, it's got enough gold, and you got the pink, still has the white. So we are finally cooking on the right combination. I'm gonna do one more with this color combination to practice before I do it on the larger triptychs. So. Um, she wants to see if I can get a little more blue in there, maybe a little more gold. So it's just playing, sandwiching things and putting more thicker layers of the colors versus just dribbles. So it's just a trial and error. So hopefully this next one's going to go well too. So, all right, everyone, thanks for being here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Mama and baby enjoying the nice weather outside, right? You enjoying the nice weather? Yes. What's daddy doing, huh? Just watching, hmm? You're just watching? What?